Chapter 6, Lesson 2, gets us into the part of math that I just really enjoy, and that is solving equations. Today we're going to look at one-step addition equations. Your content objective says students will use sub the subtraction property of equality to write and solve one-step equations. Pacing guide says this is going to be a long, stinking lesson, so you all buckle up and hold on. We're fixing to get into it. The lifespan of plants can be found by carbon dating the parts of the plant. By doing this, some scientists have found trees that have survived for many years. In Namibia, there are plants called, yeah, let's say that word, well, wichia, also known as tumbo trees, some of which have been growing for 1,850 years. Wow. In the United States, there are briscombe pine trees that are known to have been around for even longer. Now, I'm just looking at that tree, and it doesn't look big enough to have been around for even longer. But then if you take a look at the Wawitsia, then, yeah, that one's kind of puny, too. But it's pretty impressive that they live that long. Suppose a lifespan of the tumbo tree is 1,850 years. Suppose you also know that the combined lifespan of the tumbo tree and the briscone pine is 6,910 years. How can you use this information to find the lifespan of the briscone pine? Well, these are some of the things we're going to learn about as we get into this lesson. Now, our inquiry question asks, how can we use a model to write addition equations? So let's take a look and see what they say. They say, Tian played two seasons of baseball. She had 97 hits in all, with 43 hits the first season. What is the unknown quantity of the pro this problem? Well, the unknown quantity is going to be how many hits did she have in her second season. We know her total hits. We know the hits she had in the first season. How many hits did she have in the second season? From there, I bet they're going to show us how to set up a little equation here. Maybe. No. It says select what you know and what you need to find to determine the known values and the unknown values. First off, what we know is that she had 97 hits at all and she had 43 hits in her first season. What we don't know is how many hits did she have in her second season? So that part is what would become our variable in the equation is the missing information of how many hits she had in her second season. And it looks like we're going to get to use a bar diagram to represent this information. Now the bar diagram models a situation where S is going to represent the second season and we're going to move through the slides to figure out how the bar diagram can create it. So the first thing we've got is a bar. In that bar we're going to have season 1 and season 2. Where season 1 they have listed as smaller than season 2 which suggests that season 2 they had more hits. From there we're going to take and recognize that season 1 was 43 hits and the entire season, well, that was 97 hits. And to go um, to find out what the other value is, well, that other value, that's going to be the S. That's what we're going to look like or look for. Why they chose S for hits, I guess it's for season. Eh, I guess that makes sense. If you go down here, you can see they have listed what they know. Whoops, let me highlight that again. And they have listed what we want to find two important parts of the problem there. Next, they want us to take and write an addition equation from the bar diagram and be prepared to explain what we did. So let's work on doing that. You can see the equation they gave us was 43 plus s. That's going to end up equaling 97. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. That's some pretty important, important stuff there. You can see right here the 43 plus the s in the bar diagram that equals the 97 total hits of the season. But we're not going to solve that problem right now. We just wanted to write the bar diagram. Here's another one. Draw a bar diagram to represent the given situation and then use the bar diagram to write the addition equation. So the problem we have is Terrell bought a music digital music player. He spent the rest of his money on an internet subscription service for $25.95. If he started with $135, how much money was a digital music player? 
First off, what is going to be the unknown value in this situation? It's going to be the digital music player. That's what we're trying to get. See, it says right here, how much was the digital music player? In fact, I'm going to take that part right there. I'm going to change it to a different color so we can recognize that it's different. Ooh, wow, yellow and blue make yuck. Okay, yeah. From here, we get to go into it and make our bar diagram. And how about you take a minute and you draw it out on your paper, and then we'll check and see if you did it right. Go ahead and draw the whole bar diagram and create your equation. Did you get it done? Let's take a look at what they did. They took and listed their bar diagram where they had the music player, which was a more expensive piece, and the songs inside the bar diagram. From there, they acknowledged the fact that the total cost was $135 and the cost of the music, well, that was $25.95, and that meant they needed a variable. They chose C for cost of the music player is going to go right there. The equation you can see they wrote down here is the cost plus the $25.95 equals the $135 and that is a real good way to represent this value. You could have also done it as $25.95 plus C but based off the way they did their bar diagram that just makes a little more sense. Now you can write equations to represent many real world situations involving addition. We're going to look at the cards to see the um, steps of writing an equation of a real world problem. First of all, in words, we're going to take and describe the mathematics of the problem and use only the most important words in the problem. Then we're going to take and involve variables. We have to define the variable which says let x equal what it actually represents tell us what that variable represents and then from there we're going to take and translate the words into an equation so that we are able to solve it describing the quantity that a variable represents and selecting a letter to represent the unknown quantity is called defining the variable so let's watch a short video about writing addition equations In a recent Summer Olympics, the United States won 23 more medals in swimming than Australia did. The United States won a total of 33 swimming medals. You are asked to write an equation that could be used to determine the number of medals won by Australia. To write an equation for the problem, start by describing the situation. Identify any key words and numbers. You know that the United States won 23 more medals than Australia did. You also know that the United States won 33 medals in all. Next, use the key information to model the problem with words. The United States won 23 more medals than Australia did. Finding 23 more than a number involves adding 23. So, 23 plus the number of medals Australia won is equal to the number of medals the United States won. There they wrote it in words. Now define a variable to represent the unknown number. Let the variable m represent the number of medals won by Australia. Defining the variable. Finally, use the word model to write an equation. The United States won 23 more medals than Australia did. The number of medals Australia won is represented by the variable m. The total number of U.S. medals is 33. So, an equation that models the situation is 23 plus m equals 33. Well, that doesn't look too hard. I'm pretty confident you guys can take care of those real easy. Now, the textbook asks us why is defining the variable an important step for writing an equation of real-world problems? Well, the variable, if we don't know what it represents, how can we solve it? We have to recognize what that variable represents in order to know what we're actually finding the answer to. Together, Ruben and Tariq downloaded 245.5 megabytes of music. Ruben downloaded 135 megabytes of music total. Write an addition equation that can be used to find out how many megabytes of music Tariq downloaded. First of all, what is the down the unknown? Um, excuse me. What is the unknown in this problem? Well, that is going to be the amount of music that Tariq downloaded. So let's get into this and see what they want us to do. Y'all hear the noisy cat screaming? She's screaming because she just wants to scream. There's nothing wrong with her. She's just annoying. Anyhow, 
first off, we know that Tariq downloaded a total of, well, gee, I don't remember, so I'm going to collect these, um, show the problem button, so that's going to be 245.5, that's how much Tariq downloaded, and of this, Ruben is going to have downloaded, I'm sorry, my bad, total they downloaded, yeah, 245, and then of this, Ruben downloaded 132 megabytes, so we're going to check those two pieces, and now I get to find out how much Tariq downloaded, well, Tariq, plus Rubin is going to equal to that 245.5. So we're going to define the variable. We're going to let M represent the music that Tariq downloaded because we're the Tariq's the one we're looking for. And then from there, we're going to take and set up the equation. So we're going to say that the um, M plus, how much did, let's take a look at the problem again here. And oh, there it all is right there. M plus 132 is going to equal 245.5 so we can put the 132 right there as well and we can, once again it's the same exact equation that they gave us up above so the music downloaded by Tariq plus Rubens uh, is it Ruben Raven yeah Rubens 132 equals the total amount making progress here and that is actually all they wanted us to do for that problem they didn't say to solve it they didn't say find out how much music Tariq downloaded, it just said to write an equation. Boop, done, easy math. What are some other ways you could write an equation based off real world problems? Well, you can go back and use that bar diagram method they showed us for one, but that wouldn't be a whole lot of fun, would it? All right, folks, now it's gonna be your turn. Solve this problem, and then we'll check our answers. A board that measures 2.5 meters in length is cut into two pieces. One piece is 1.3 meters. Select the addition equation that can be used to find the length of M of the other piece. So they've already defined the variable for you. They told you that M is the other piece. And M and 1.3 combined, well, that's going to equal the total length of 2.5. So the 2.5 on the end, there's only one possible answer, and that's B. M the unknown length plus the known length of 1.3 equals the total of 2.5. Check your answer. Yes, it really is that simple to solve these problems. Now, I think that's going to be a good spot to stop for this lesson. When we come back, we're going to do a little bit more exploring on one-step addition equations.